Prepare to read Gingerbread for Liberty Genre Study Biographies tell about real people's lives. As you read Gingerbread for Liberty, look for information about why this person is important, the place where the person lived, worked, or traveled, ways the person has made a difference, set a purpose, read to find out the most important ideas in each part, then synthesize or put together these ideas in your mind to find out what the text really means to you. Power words, booming, skill, threatening, persuade. Meet Mara Rockcliffe. One day, Mara Rockcliffe was reading about food in an old magazine. She found a story about a baker who lived during the Revolutionary War. She thought kids would enjoy reading about him. That gave her the idea to write Gingerbread for Liberty. Mara Rockcliffe has written many other books. What is her favorite thing about being a writer? She gets to work at home in her pajamas. Gingerbread for Liberty by Mara Rockcliffe Illustrated by Vincent X. Kirsch Everyone in Philadelphia knew the gingerbread baker, his honest face, his booming laugh, and, of course, his gingerbread, the best in all the thirteen colonies. His big flowery hands turned out castles and queens, horses and cows and hens, each detail drawn in sweet, buttery icing with the greatest skill and care. And yet, despite his care, there always seemed to be some broken pieces for the hungry children who followed their noses to the spicy-smelling shop. No empty bellies here, the baker bellowed. Not in my America. For once upon a time, he had been young and hungry too, and he had followed his own nose to this new world where a hard-working young man could open his own bakery and always have enough to eat. But now, something was in the air, besides the smell of baking gingerbread. Newspapers shouted, Revolution! Independence! Liberty! Boys rolled up blankets, shouldered guns, and kissed mothers goodbye. The baker hung his apron up. He dusted flour off his hands. Where are you going? asked his wife. To fight for my America, he said. I was a soldier once. That was long ago and far away, she said. You are a baker now, and you are old and fat. The baker knew his wife was right. But he knew also that he loved his country. Somehow, he had to find a way to help. He packed his bags and went to join General Washington. The men are threatening to leave. They say the food is terrible, and there isn't enough of it. General Washington did not say the baker was old and fat. General Washington was too polite. Anyway... He had other troubles on his mind. The baker rolled up his sleeves. No empty bellies here, he told General Washington. Not in my America. But bigger trouble was on the way. Across the ocean, Your Majesty, those Americans think they can beat your redcoats. Ha 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 ha! What if they're right? Ha ha ha! Huh? The king of England wrote to other rulers and hired their armies to help him squash the revolution. When the ships sailed into sight, even General Washington turned pale. Who had ever seen such an army? Not me. Not me. Definitely not me. I have. 
These soldiers came from the land where I was born, the baker told General Washington. Let me go speak to them. Perhaps I can persuade them we are not their enemies. Perhaps I can even persuade them to switch sides. If you are caught, you will be killed, Washington warned. The baker smiled. Then I must not be caught. In the darkest hour of the night, he rode across the bay. With each dip of his oars, he thought of words to win the soldiers over to the American cause. Revolution! Splash! Befreiung! Independence! Splash! Unabhangekeit! Liberty! Splash! Splash! Freiheit! But when he looked into their hungry faces, all his fine words slipped away. What could he say? I have a bake shop, he began. As the baker spoke, the soldiers seemed to see the fragrant steam rising from his ovens. They could almost smell the spicy gingerbread and taste the sweet, buttery icing on their tongues. And you always have enough to eat? The soldiers asked. No empty bellies here, the baker told them. Not in my America. Across the ocean. Your Majesty, we just don't understand. These hired armies seem to disappear. Many, many loaves and battles later. The British have surrendered. The revolution is over. We won. My work is done, the baker cried. Washington said, not quite. Did he bake the British soldiers gingerbread for their dessert? We'll never know. They didn't leave a crumb. A gift from General Washington and his baker. Turn and talk. Use details from Gingerbread for Liberty to answer these questions with a partner. 1. Synthesize. Why did the baker want to join General Washington? How did that decision change history? 2. What does the author want to describe? What does the illustrator want to show? 3. How did General Washington's feelings about the baker change? What do you think Washington learned from this experience? Listening tip. Look at your partner as you listen. Nod your head to show you are interested. 